Hello, everybody. That's what my friend Grover says. Now, this book is called The Monster at the End of This Book, starring lovable furry old Grover. But I know you guys know this story inside and out. So I found another one called Another Monster at the End of This Book with Grover, starring lovable furry old Grover, an equally lovable, furry little Elmo. So let's check this one out. Another monster at the end of this book. Another monster at the end of this book? Oh no, another monster? We will not go any further in this book. But Elmo loves monsters, Mr. Grover. Please turn the page. Elmo! I am not going to the end of this book. If there is a monster there, monsters are not to be trifled with. I am going to stay right here on the first page. Okay, Mr. Grover, Elmo will go see the monster all by himself. Turn the page, please. Will you please stop turning pages? Every time you turn a page, we get closer to the monster at the end of the book. Elmo, come with me. We are going home now. Elmo, Elmo, where are you? Turn the page. Elmo. Do you not understand that at the end of this book, there's a monster? It could be a nice furry monster like you or me or Cookie or Harry, but it could also be a very big, scary, hungry monster with sharp teeth and claws and an attitude. Therefore, I am putting these hundreds of paper clips here just to remind you that we are not going to the end of this book. Yes, Mr. Grover, Turn the page, please. All right, no more, Mr. Nice Guy. I have now taken all your alphabet blocks and built a huge castle right here. No one can turn this page now. Turny, turny, turn, turn. Enough is enough. I, Grover, am now gluing this page down so you cannot turn it. And if you cannot turn the page, we will not get to the monster at the end of this book. And Elmo says, do it. Elmo, please, please forget about seeing the monster at the end of this book and come back with me to the beginning of the book. Please, pretty please. Little Elmo wants to see the monster. Turn the page. Should I do it? Okay. This will stop you from turning pages. I, Grover, have put up a thick steel wall so no one can ever, ever turn the page. What do you say to that, little Elmo? 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 Where are you, Elmo? Elmo is on the next page. All right. We will go see the monster, but just one little peek. When I say... Turn the page. You jump in from the back of the book, and I will jump in from the front. We will see the monster, and then we will run like little bunny rabbits. Listen carefully. You tiptoe around to the back of the book. I, Grover, will stay here.
Are you at the back of the book, little Elmo? Yes, Mr. Grover. Then here we go. One, two, get ready to turn the page and then run like a little bunny rabbit. Three, turn the page. I never thought that the monster at the end of the book would be you, little Elmo. No, no, Mr. Grover, you are the monster at the end of the book. I saw you. You, 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 you. Whatever. Where are you going? Elmo is going back two pages to see the monster again. The end. <laughs> Did you like that one too? That seems to be a favorite one with Grover and looking for the monster. He forgets that he's a monster too, just like Elmo. But they're furry, lovable, fun monsters. All right, hope you enjoyed the story today. Take care. Grandma loves you.